Hello friends, this is Lindsay. Welcome back to my channel. I have, as promised, more budget junk journals for all of you. These have been such a hit in my shop recently. I love making them. So if these sell quickly, again, I will be glad to do another set. In fact, I already have some of the papers picked out for it if you guys like these and purchase them. They're only $12.99 each. I've learned how to cut corners in a way that doesn't affect the quality or the aesthetics of the journal so that I can still make a profit and you get a wonderful journal to journal in. This time I did 10 and they are needlework themed, kind of handiwork, needlework, sewing, that type of theme, but it is a quite a generic needlework theme so you can definitely push it in another direction because they are unembellished on the inside so i'm going to do a very quick flip through of them each one has some slight differences so um yeah here we go they're all wallpaper covers they're all from the same collection of wallpaper, so they coordinate beautifully together. If you want a set of journals, you can maybe make a cover to stick them all in, give them as gifts. Uh, they're cheap enough that you can purchase them and give them as gifts without it affecting your pocketbook too much. So they are nine by six, or very close to that. They are stitched around, each one is stitched around. Um, they each, all of them except one, have this gorgeous, beautiful tie. Just a ribbon and what I've done on this one uh, to keep the cost low is instead of 60 pages there's 48 because um, this one had a little bit more with like the embellishing and I've used vintage pages and things like that so I have used my stitch in time ephemera for the covers and each cover is very similar there are three textures there's the ivory cardstock the ephemera then there's a fabric and then there's a wallpaper and they're fanned out there's stitching and then some kind of embellishment. So this one has a button, um, yep. And then one signature, 48 pages. It's perfect for about a month to six weeks worth of journaling, which if you're like me, you do kind of like to change it up very frequently. So what I have done on the inside of the journal is used vintage needlework pages from a book. And they're just so pretty and then the uh, spine is reinforced with washi tape, but I use Fabri-Tac glue under the washi tape to keep it uh, secure. And I always include a little pouch with 20 die cuts or little goodies in them. And I made the pouches for this one. That's also why I had to keep the price down with the pages. I It's the same wallpaper as the cover and I have stitched a little pocket. And then each one just has 20 pieces of ephemera or die cuts that can be used in the journal or in another project. And of course the pouch can be reused as well. I've tried to use similar papers in the journals, but there are differences. Um, each of the journals has some of these pages from Antique Papery. Check out her website linked below her Etsy shop, one of my all-time favorites. But this is from her La Bella collection, and I thought it was incredible. It says clothing house, so I thought that was cute, and I loved the roses. They're all, um, I've done borderless printing, double-sided, so you have that gorgeousness. Some vintage sewing book pages. Um, and then I've used some Seneca Pond Craft. You get these double-sided pages here. And I've just printed on my black and white printer. Um, well, it's a printer that only has black ink working in it right now. And I was trying to do something neat with the pages, but not use uh, color. So that's what I did there. You have some cardstock. There's coffee dyed papers, really grungy ones in this. This is a set of coffee dyed paper that I dropped in the dirt. I mentioned that on another video. So extra grunge, but I love it. And then here's a piece of cardstock, more vintage book pages, cardstock, envelope, book pages. This is from my Sunny Days kit. And it's just printed on cardstock, graph paper, and then the other side to everything. So it is really, really beautiful. And then look at the gorgeous lady on the La Bella paper. And then on the back, it is also vintage book pages. So they will all be listed individually so you can pick the ones you want. I like doing that with these. They're, they're too different to just be random. You kind of need to pick the one that speaks to you 
And then here is another one. Look at this gorgeous wallpaper. This one has a sewing machine ad for the ephemera. And there is a little bronze colored needle um, flat back that is on there, like a charm. And then a gorgeous, of course, matching pouch, ephemera. And then very similar pages. There are some different ones as well. I liked including these because they're from a book, but it's like 1950s uh, fabrics that have been printed into a book. So I really enjoyed using that as well. This was paper left over from my last set of budget junk journals. So I included that. Got cardstock and coffee dyed paper, ledger paper. and the other side to everything. Pardon me while I tie these up in between. It just kind of keeps me neat and organized. Otherwise I have ribbons everywhere and journals everywhere and I have to keep some kind of sanity to the madness. This is the next one. The paper has these little bits of purple in it, the wallpaper. And then here's like a sewing machine how to little button and then here's the pouch in the ephemera similar pages this is from lab my lavender and lace kit the print went wrong and the colors aren't quite right but you really can't tell I think it looks great in this you could tell if it was up against the rest of the kit but by itself it looks great I've done some stamping here's a piece of wallpaper this is from my antique aviary kit and then just a script backing and the back to everything. I've tried to just keep it vintage looking and beautiful. I love the lady on the back. Tried to keep it super interesting to look at nothing boring and here's this one kind of like a silver and gray this is an ad for this thread a little flat back and you have ephemera in here you're going to notice lots of the same pages but a few different ones. This is from a wallpaper book. Some cardstock. Look at how grungy that paper came out. And then this I didn't do. I don't remember where I got it. It might, I think this may have been from Elsie Bell's bookshelf, one of her fall kits from last year. I think that's where it was from, but I found it in my stash and I included it. It's a grunge. that one. If you stay tuned to the end, I do have a couple of stamp sets as well as some wallpaper that I will briefly show you that's being added to my shop. Okay, this is the one without the burgundy ribbon. I did a green lace because I ran out of burgundy ribbon, but this is the really pretty wallpaper. Looks kind of like lace and then it says sewing for little girls and it's the way to sew on a button. And then ephemera, scrapbook paper, and then I've printed on the other side. Very similar, but each one is put together just a little different. This is from my postage due kit. And there is that one. Like I said, I did 10 this time. They kept selling out and then I'd be asked for more. So we'll see if 10 is too many or you guys buy them up. This is one of my favorites. I love the simplicity of this wallpaper. And then 
the little embroidery, vintage embroidery work, and look at the little pair of scissors, little flat back. I thought that was so cute. And then we have ephemera in here. Again, the gorgeous pages. This is also from the La Bella paper. Love the roses. Really gorgeous. Wallpaper is one of my favorite coverings for a journal. And then there's this one. Love this wallpaper. Sweet little baby girl. It is an ad for um, this thread, Clark Smile and Spool Cotton. There's a little pink button. And then ephemera. And the similar pages, of course. Going quickly because there are a lot of the same papers. Love how the doily prints came out on the coffee dyed paper I did. Fluffy tufted rug, I thought that was cute. And then there is this one, gorgeous, gorgeous wallpaper. Love the teal color. And then this one has a little dress form. pouch with ephemera again. I've done a pamphlet stitch on all of them. I think these would make great Christmas gifts. There's this one. Look at the gorgeous colors on that. And another ad for Clark's thread. It says Cat's Cradle. Pouch with ephemera. This is from Seneca Pond Craft from one of her kits. I had it left over. And it had a very vintage feel to it. So I thought that would be perfect for adding into this journal. Different sizes of papers, different styles. I love this script paper. It's from a Hobby Lobby paper pad. Cool embroidery. And there's one more. And it's this one, it's gold wallpaper. Another sewing for little girls, but this one has an embroidery, a little bit of music paper on this one. It says handmade with love, it's a wooden button. Another pouch with ephemera. It's a great way to use up papers that you've been hoarding to make a whole bunch at one time. And there's that one. So that's all that are available. They are in the junk journals by Lindsay section of my website, nevermorecreations17.com. It's also linked below in the description box. Okay, I have a couple of stamp sets. I have two of these, they're so cute. They're ballerinas and they come in this wonderful little tin which I think would be super cute for putting ephemera in. I actually had to take the, the plastic off the tin and I had to assemble these stamps because they are mounted on the foam with the stickers and I had to put that all together 
um, so that you guys didn't have to. But there are nine different ones. I did test one and then uh, cleaned it and it stamped perfectly. So I have two of those little sets of the ballerina stamps. And then I have one set, because I'm keeping one, um, one set of these wooden stamps and they're flowers. See, I've already stamped with them. Look at how cute. I love these. They stamp so well. They're so perfect and they're so tiny. So I'm keeping a set because I just had to. And then I have one set, everything's still in plastic for someone. So I have those. And then for wallpaper, I have, these will be in our new wallpaper section. I have Dark Beauty. And you can see pictures on the listing. I have Bold Bronzes. So if you want to work with golds and browns and kind of these metallics, we have that. I have creamy strokes. These are all super creamy colors and you can see pronounced kind of like brush strokes on most of them. And then painted swirls. They're all different hues of these swirls that have been stroked painted. And then I have a D stash, a huge, oh man, I have to weigh this, but look at how big that is. It is heavy, full of all these different wallpapers that are just D stashing from my collection and somebody can use them to create a lot of things and even send some in Happy Mail if you wanted to. So that's all that I have available for you today. Tomorrow should be a marketplace video. I can't wait to share more journals with you. And then I will see all of you later in the next video. Have a wonderful day.